Well, last year was the first uh, first time I came across ePortfolio actually, and, and uh, it was introduced to us during a science education placement, whereby uh, we had to write a, a reflective journal every week, and then give access to various tutors who would uh, look at it and then uh, give us some feedback. And we could also uh, share information and uh, documents with other students on the course. It was a 12 week, 12, 14 week course where I was observing in a classroom. Um, it was part of my honours project, but Edinburgh University offer a science education placement rather than a laboratory based project. So I was um, <coughs> at a local high school in Edinburgh and observing classroom behaviour, teacher um, approaches, and then I would uh, take notes within the classroom and then afterwards go through this reflective process. It's very important in education, the, the, the idea of being a reflective practitioner is, is very strong, it's underpinning um, Scottish education. So this uh, gave me the chance to reflect on my week's observations and then put it down on paper. It was a kind of uh, a process that allowed you to sort of really revisit the entire week and uh, put some of the major points down on paper and some of the, the, the major learnings. The ePortfolio was basically, it was a, a weekly reflection on, it would be about 12 hours worth of observation a week. So notes that I'd taken down in the classroom, uh, notes that I'd made about teachers' approaches to learning, um, teacher-child uh, or pupil interaction, maybe, maybe teacher talk time versus pupil talk time, these sort of things. <coughs> Things that I'd, I'd, I'd observed in the classroom, I would then go back home uh, and, and then produce this work document um, that was this sort of, this sort of cathartic process of being able to, to go back and, and, and revisit all the, the instances during these lessons and then pick, pick it to bits and reflect upon it, um, which allowed me then to take the, the major learning points away with me, to carry them on. This year, I'm, I'm also um, uh, filling out a, uh, using an e-portfolio, and it's a major part of my um, postgraduate diploma in education. It's it's an assessed um, part of the entire process, um, and basically, it's it's part of a PDP, um, personal development portfolio, and what that does is it basically gathers all the evidence that I um, can can muster over a year, um, including a reflective journal that is filled in every week. And again, it's not so much this time purely based on classroom observation, but it is um, the, the type of major learnings, major points that I want to move forward um, throughout my, my year uh, in PGDE. I'm not entirely certain if I would use it in the future. I would maybe refer back to it in the future I suppose it could be used as, again, a reflective uh, tool, but also I think it depends on, um, depends on where I end up working. It depends what systems they have. I know, for instance, there is the GLOW system in um, Scottish Education. That's a, a new computer system that's coming through, and that's for sharing um, resources and experiences. So I don't know, maybe there'll be something along those lines that I might use, um, but in terms of the system that I'm using this year and the system I used last year, PebblePad, I'm not entirely sure whether I would um, carry it on into the future. Um, advice I would give, um, I think to, uh, to be open, to use it. Um, it's a very useful tool, there's no doubt about it. Um, and it's a, bit like, it's a bit like using a diary, I suppose. Um, and it, you get as much out of it as you put in. So if, you, if, you're, if you're going in every, every couple of months and dropping something into it, you won't get much out. But if you do use it as like a daily um, reflective tool, I, I think it is, it is really uh, valuable actually. I certainly found it very valuable. And now I have a really, um, I'm not one for filling in diaries. I, I never have been. But last year's uh, um, honours project, I have a very concise uh, bank of information from that project that I can go back. And because it's a reflective journal in my own words, um, it takes me straight back to that point in time. 
You know, so no, yeah, I would I would say you get out of it what you put in.